let's go. It is June the 24th, 2018. Man, I, I just left church, and I tell you what, we had a guest speaker, Tim Timberlake. This dude is so incredible. I, I was totally bummed because I missed him the last time he came and spoke at our church. So I was super excited this morning when I heard his name and they said that he was going to be speaking. I was just so fired up because I just love this guy. His energy, his vibe, his aura, just everything. God really, really works through him. And uh, he, he had like a couple of things that he went over today, right? And, um, and I, I had to just take notes today. I, I do that quite often, but I did not want to forget this because I just absolutely loved it and I figured you know what I want to share this in, in this video but the credit goes to him um, I did not come up with this um, I, I loved it but but he spoke on anxiety real quick and he said that anxiety is experiencing failure in advance I loved it I, I, I can't tell you how many times I feel anxious over something that hasn't even happened or occurred or whatever because I didn't take the time to put faith in God and just say you know what you, you got this. I'll, I'll, I'll be all right. You got this. Anxiety is experiencing failure in advance. You're already prepared to fail, right? You're already, you're already expecting it. Man, I just, I, I, I love that. And then, and then he said two things that kill joy faster than anything, living in the past and comparing ourselves to others. How many times do we do that? How many times do we live in the past, right? It's like, it's like constantly picking at a wound and, and never allowing it to heal. And then comparing ourselves to others. How many times, I've talked about this before, but how many times do you go online, right? See somebody else's life and go, oh man. Or you know, we watch reality TV. I, I, I don't anymore, but you watch reality TV or you look at these superstars, these movie stars, and you see their lives and you go, oh my goodness. Or I could look at my pastor's life or, or Tim Timberlake's life and go, oh man, I wish I had what he had. Instead of sitting down and saying, you know what, I'm grateful for what I do have because somebody in this world somewhere right now is saying, you know what, Drew's life, that's a fantasy. I would give anything to have his life. Always remember that. Somewhere, 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 you know what I meant. Somewhere, somebody is looking at your life and saying, man, I would, I would give anything for that. So don't compare yourself to anyone else. Be grateful for what you have and, uh, and, and stop living in the past. And I'm speaking to myself here as well. Totally love it. Totally love the message today. So grateful. I prayed on my way into church today and God delivered for sure. So uh, I hope everybody out there has a fantastic, fantastic Sunday. I always know when I'm rocking pink, it's going to be a great day. But uh, today was really nice. And uh, it's beautiful outside here in Charlotte. I'm loving it. So I hope you have a fabulous, fantastic, phenomenal, three of my favorite words, day today. It is Sunday. Um, and I hope everybody has a great week. Uh, that's all I got. So you know I'm going to keep grinding. I'm going to keep moving forward. And I'm always going to trust God's process. I will talk to y'all later. I am out.